I want to give a quick tour of my house. I, so I've been building. I'm nowhere near done though. It's, so don't judge me, okay? Don't judge that my house is not completed. All right. But uh, yeah, today's thumbnail, if you're over on the YouTube side, was taken like up, somewhere up there. And I, and I was kind of looking down from the side of the house. But yeah, I, ha I have, uh, you know, really had a good time with this. Now it's hailing on me. Uh, part of the reason why is because I decided to use the um, the Tempest card in my Abeyance Realm. The reason why is I wanted to make sure there was a constant flow of rain for the crops. I know that sounds crazy, right? But um, it works. <laughs> um, I also have a Peeps box, which has some Wozna in it. I have to look up Wozna because I because I apparently I know how to make that. I don't know. I've never heard of this dish before this game. So I have so many plant boxes now that kind of line the edge of my house. So I'm just trying to quickly put that in. But yeah, since it's always going to be raining in my abeyance realm with the thing that I chose, um, I mean, this is as good of a solution as I can really get right now just because the card that I really want is the farm card, but I can't unlock that until t uh, tier three progression. So, and I haven't come across one randomly in a chest or anything like that. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to be very patient. What realm are you? This is my abeyance realm. The reason why is because your abeyance realm is basically made for your home. Like you, you literally, this like if you're new to the game or if you're like, unsure of where you want to live you can just choose to uh you know build in any realm right sure but this is probably the least dangerous realm i could possibly build in uh i've only really seen uh enemies every once in a while and that's about it uh i don't really see them here the only thing is that sometimes i see a uh, deer kind of run past here but other than that not really any threats to my property so i'll take it Oh, and as you can note, if you can see, I have a bunch of pets. They're all just kind of chilling. They're so cute. Uh, where's my little puppers? I have. Oh, here we go. And I have a cat, a dog. I don't have the cat with the hat yet. So yeah, this is just the first floor. Uh, let me. I'll give a quick tour. So we saw the outside, right? We'll go back to the outside. Um, so this side of the house looks like this. Hold on, let me. I might have to go back and make some adjustments to the second floor because I noticed now that I never finished um actually hold on oh I can't I can't really point to it but if you look at the center of my screen here where the dot is over here these three areas that should be a room so I need to go back and uh edit that actually I think all four of these might have even set up to be a room but I have to go back and do the things um, but yeah, so if you notice the side of my house, I am working on, uh, if you, if you look up here, this whole area needs to be turned into a room. This is going to be a dual room. I'm going to cut it in half here, have a bedroom here and another bedroom here lining this side. Um, over on this side though, I think I'm pretty much happy with how this looks. Um, I didn't plan this as well as I would have liked as far as how this area extends, but... I decided to extend the house this way so I can fit some portals, like have a portal room, and I'm glad I did. Now, if I, whoops, now if I go this way, you can see that the house is built on like a literal waterfall. So I decided to put, um, what are these called again? Whatever, uh, oh yeah, this is the crude foundation. I decided to put the crude foundation, um, up here so that you know the water can still flow i'll actually show you um the upstairs so this place is mostly empty right um but i'm sure that when it's done it's gonna look beautiful like i am super excited and you know what the best part is because i can uh have a respite in any realm i don't have to make this my main house I can literally just abandon the house and make a new house elsewhere. So this is one room here that uh, this is going to eventually be a bedroom. I might extend this out this way. Like I might close out this area here 
and then create like a little book nook or something in this corner but i haven't decided um the reason why i put a door here is because i thought you know i could do this and then have like a, a mini like um single person balcony if that makes sense like a like a mini like chill out area i was thinking about like putting some plants or some flowers or something up here some shrubbery up here and uh you know i thought it looked cool i was kind of remembering a little bit of uh well i don't know if you guys all remember this but a while back uh before v rising 1.0 came out when i uh made the alley which is like that one castle with like um that had like the artist alley in, on the first floor there were a lot of balconies and for some of the balconies they were small like this and i thought you know kind of like that i think i might do that again so i decided to do that in this game um this needs to be redone this whole area here needs to be like reorganized and figured out um and then this is probably also going to end up becoming another room but i do have to kind of sort out how i'm gonna uh do this but yeah i'm probably gonna put another floor you see how like right there you have like the um it, it looks like empty area like it looks like i have like random excess wood on the beam there that is future planning that is not it doesn't make sense now but it'll make sense later uh so this room down here well actually this area right here i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna make this uh you can kind of jump he down here if if you crouch and then walk but I don't really want that to be the purpose of this room. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with this, but once I figure it out, I'm sure it's going to look great. Um, downstairs. So if we go downstairs, right? We have my bedroom. I don't like to leave a lot of space for my bedroom. Um, I think it's kind of overdoing it sometimes. That's right. I didn't show you guys the rest of the house. I'm, I'm, I'm like jumping all over the place. Because I was showing uh, the portal room, but I, I kind of skipped the part. So up here, right? Um, I need to figure out how, because I just realized I don't know if I have stairs that are going to lead to the second floor. So I'm going to have to like make some stairs. <laughs> um let's let's see what we can do i'm gonna use the tutor stairs by the way i i'm uh what was i gonna say i am using the tutor um setup so i could put stairs here i could also put let's see can i do a spiral staircase here i can i'm gonna go with this and then we're going to build that up so i just put up some stairs but yeah there's a spiral staircase now which is really cool um this is a uh, one of the bedrooms that i need to well two of the bedrooms i need to carve out i'm trying to do like a symmetrical pattern on this side and this side so that there's like guest rooms right but this side needs a little bit work um i put a roof down here so it's not going to fulfill its purpose the way i thought it would so i might make this the pet room i don't know i'm gonna have to weigh my options as one might say but yeah, having this roof here has kind of messed up my my uh, build a little bit. So I'm going to have to revisit and see how I'm going to fix that. Um, but for sure on this side, there will be bedrooms. And here, this is going to be like kind of like a nice little chill out zone. Maybe put like uh, a couple couches or something to sit and chill and maybe do the same thing over here. Um, but yeah, basic idea is pretty much done. There's a big gaping hole in the roof because I haven't... Um, I haven't finished anything so there's that 